Dean, thanks for joining me again. Uh, how's Christmas Berry been for us so far? Wet. <laughs> um, training's been bright, to be fair. Obviously, very disappointed to be off Boxing Day. It's a great uh, football day in the calendar, and obviously decimated a lot of fixtures up, uh, fixtures up and down the country. So, but look, we've just kept taking it one day at a time, and it looks like we're going to be on tomorrow at South End, which is great, um, and we're looking forward to the game. You, you mentioned it there. We obviously had our, bo- our bo- Boxing Day match uh, postponed. How has that affected uh, preparation ahead of uh, tomorrow's match? It's given us a bit more time to prepare. The only thing I would say is that we've just had two come down this morning that have gone out taking PCR tests, so we can't really fully plan the sessions the way we want them. But it's the same for everybody up and down the country. We're just delighted to hope. Hopefully, we'll be on tomorrow. And we're really looking forward to the game. We I mean, set South End a well-established team. Obviously, just coming down for, from League Two and seem to be struggling, struggling at the minute. Uh, what, what, what do you think uh, the match is going to entail tomorrow? Yeah, no, they're a good side. There's no easy games. The division asked Bromley yesterday when really South End should have won the game. Did the better chances win the game? Um, they played a different formation to when I see them last time. When I see them live over against Maidenhead in a one-all draw. They played three forty-two yesterday. So they've got good players, really good players in the front line. Um, and they're a well-managed team. Kevin knows what he's doing, a good manager. So, um, and they're just trying to, I know they've got some issues sort of off the pitch, um, but they're just trying to establish themselves and there's no doubt they're going to keep improving. Hopefully we can nullify that atmosphere. I'm not really looking forward to their atmosphere, um, but hopefully we can create an atmosphere for ourselves. You know, we've got to really try to keep the crowd quiet um, and hopefully we can give air support or something to cheer about. Look, it's a game of football on a grass pitch. That's the way I look at it. 11 versus 11. Hopefully it'll stay that way because the last two games we've got red cards which shouldn't have been red cards. So we need a strong referee. Make sure the referee manages the game properly. Um, but it's going to be wet. It's going to be zippy. Now there will be a lot of tackles. Um, we've got to get on the front foot and perform to the level we've been performing to. So our level of performances have been strong. Um, our points per game is good. So we're just looking forward to the game. You said about how much you love your festive football. We've got two big games coming up in, in uh, under a week. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, delighted. I, I absolutely love this time of year. It's precious within uh, the British calendar. Um, it's great. I, I see some of the Premier League managers, you know, some of the foreign boys moaning about it and begrudging it. But I think it's great. It's, uh, it's what it's all about in this country. And Air football pyramid in this country is amazing. And uh, it's just devastating to see so many games being off. Hopefully, we can continue to play games. And what message have you got for our supporters uh, making the trip to Rootsville tomorrow? Yeah, I hope they had a nice Christmas day. Obviously, Boxing Day was a little bit of a wet out for them. So, yeah, look, our, our uh, objective is to give them something to sing about. And uh, we're going to go there, hopefully try to play on the front foot, perform to the levels we have been performing to, especially with our walk ethic. Just we, we don't shy away from walking hard. We've got to continue to do that. But hopefully, we can show a bit more quality. Thanks for your time. Cheers.